and welcome to the ARC Symposium. My name is Matea Berglund. I'm a graduate student at the University of California, Davis. And today I'm excited to talk with you about my dissertation research, which focuses on using microbiomes to understand the impact of habitat change on juvenile salmon. Did you know that communities of microbes such as bacteria and viruses call your body home? These communities are called microbiomes and they play important roles in your health. Your microbiome is important for your digestion, immune response, and even provides protection against other microbes that may cause disease. But the microbiome is not static. It changes through time and in response to the environment. And so the functions and services that it provides can also change or be compromised. Because of its relationship to both environmental conditions and individual health, the microbiome is a promising tool for understanding how environmental change impacts wildlife. I conducted field and lab experiments to study the impact of habitat conditions on the microbiome of Chinook salmon. Chinook salmon are culturally, ecologically, and economically important species, but have experienced severe habitat loss and population declines, especially here in the Central Valley of California, where many salmon populations are now threatened or endangered. Salmon are an ideal candidate for this microbiome research because they naturally experience a range of habitats, including wetlands and rivers. And increasingly, they're exposed to novel habitats, such as agricultural wetlands and hatcheries. You may see intuitively from these photos that these habitats are different, and I expect these differences may cause changes in the salmon microbiome. In order to test this hypothesis, I raised juvenile salmon in each habitat and under different laboratory conditions, and collected skin swabs and gut samples from fish in each treatment. I'm using DNA extraction and 16S rRNA sequencing to identify bacteria in each sample. You can think of the DNA sequence like a fingerprint. Each bacteria has a unique DNA sequence that can be used to identify it, just how you can identify a particular person by using their unique fingerprint. These data will allow me to test for differences in the microbiome between habitats and treatments. And these results will provide a foundation for future salmon microbiome research and may prove relevant to salmon management, including informing hatchery practices or wetland restoration. I'm currently processing and sequencing these samples, so I'm hoping to be able to provide an update on the project results next year. I'd like to say a huge thank you to the ARCS Foundation and all of the organizations who supported this project. This work would not be possible without you. And thank you for joining me today to listen to this session. I hope you enjoy the rest of the symposium.